Hey everybody, I'm Tamisha and welcome back to my kitchen. It is Sunday and we are making a Sunday dinner from start to finish, including dessert. So we're making a Jamaican style curry chicken with a side of rice and some steamed cabbage, as well as a box cake that we're going to make taste just like you did it from scratch. So stay tuned, I'm gonna get the ingredients ready and we're gonna get started. All right, so let's get started with the ingredients that we're gonna to need today. So I already have some chicken drumsticks that I've washed already and I've removed the skin from them and I just washed them by using, soaking them in some lemon juice and some um, salt water. So these are good and clean and ready to go. I have some fresh thyme as well as our onions, um, white onions and our green scallions. I have some peppers and some minced garlic. We're going to use some paprika. I have just a small amount of allspice we're going to use and a small amount of ginger, not that much. Sea salt, our black pepper, some roasted garlic, as well as our curry powder. And that's going to be the star of the show. <laughs> I have some chicken bouillon. And once we get uh, the cooking process going, towards the end I'm going to add in some potatoes to our curry chicken as well as some carrots and then I'm going to steam some cabbage up and then for dessert we're going to make this good old box classic yellow cake with some chocolate frosting but we're going to make it where it tastes like you made it from scratch. I'm going to show you a quick trick on how to make your box cake taste homemade. Alright so let's go ahead and get started on getting our chicken um, seasoned to marinate and you can let it marinate overnight but I'm actually um, starting dinner late <laughs> tonight so I'm going to get it marinated for about an hour in the refrigerator so I'm starting by adding some paprika to our chicken I have some black pepper Also, I should add that I have about two tablespoons of oil in the pan as well to coat the chicken. I'm going to add in our curry powder. Use whatever curry powder um, that is your favorite. This is what I found in my grocery store, the Badia brand. And I usually buy a lot of spices in this, but this is their Jamaican style curry powder. And like I said um, in the intro, I am making Jamaican style curry chicken. I am in no way saying that this is authentic curry chicken. So if you um, have your grandma's old um, tried and true Jamaican curry chicken recipe, um, I am not trying to compare to that at all. So this is just... Um, you know, like I said, Jamaican style. All right, so just have a little bit of ginger. I'm gonna add in just about a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice, not a lot, just a little bit, just so you know it's there. And I have my thyme sprig. I'm gonna take some of the thyme off of there. And like I said in here we have a white onion as well as our green scallions peppers and some garlic just gonna get all of that in there and just get it all mixed and folded And you can add in, if you want this spicy, you know, you can add in um, maybe like a scotch bonnet pepper or a jalapeno if you want to, but um, I didn't want any spice today. Well, not that much spice today. So I opted to not add um, any spicy peppers, but you can feel free to do that if you want to. 
So we just want to make sure our chicken is nice and coated with all of our spices. And then what we're going to do is get this into the refrigerator and let it sit for about an hour. An hour should be good. But you want to do this, you know, and let it sit overnight. The longer you sit, let it allow to sit into your marinade, the better off uh, and more flavorful it's going to be. All right, so that looks good. I'm going to get this in the refrigerator, and when we come back, I'm going to get started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our cake started. I've already had my oven preheating to 350 degrees, and this is just a um, classic yellow um, box cake, but the way that you can make a box cake taste homemade is pretty simple. So this calls for one cup of water. Instead of using the water that the box would tell you, you would replace that with an equal amount of milk. Um, your oil, you can replace that with butter instead. Just use melted butter. So one third cup of vegetable oil, we will replace that with one third cup of butter. And if it tells you to use three eggs, you're actually going to go ahead and use four instead. So let's go ahead and get everything into our bowl. We got one cup of milk. Going to get our four eggs mixed in here. And be careful with your shells. And yellow cake and chocolate frosting has always been my favorite. I don't care how old I get or how fancy of a cake is available. If yellow cake and chocolate frosting is there, I'm eating that over anything else. So let me uh, get my butter melted real quick and add that in. All right, so I have my melted butter. Get that poured into there. And we're just gonna give it a good mix. Mix it up until everything is nice and incorporated. And I already have some pans that I've um, oiled already. This is just some nine inch round baking pans. And that is how you make your box cake taste like you made it from scratch, bakery style. Just a couple of tweaks to the uh, ingredients on the box and you have a nice scratch like cake. And you just bake it according to the instructions. So once I get this all mixed up, I'm going to get it into our pan and get it baked um, for about 30 minutes. All right, so our cake is in the pan and we're going to get this in the oven set to 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. And while I have this baking and we're waiting for the chicken to finish marinating, I'm going to get my cabbage all diced up as well as get my carrots and my potatoes prepared for the curry chicken. So when we come back, we will get started on the next All right, step. everybody, so we are back. Our chicken is uh, finished marinating. We have our cakes on the counter cooling and I have a pot of rice going um, back here. So what we're gonna do is get started on our curry chicken. So I have a large pot and I have a little bit of oil in the bottom. I'm gonna add some more onions to it. And this is our white onion as well as our scallions. Let's add a little bit more in here. And get that. Start to get that all sweated out. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of the curry to kind of make a paste with those vegetables and the oil. The curry powder smells really good. that nice beautiful yellow color all right so we're going to start adding in our chicken 
The chicken has been sitting in its seasoning for about, actually it went a little bit longer, for about an hour and a half now. And I'm just using drumsticks, but you can also use some um, boneless, skinless uh, chicken thighs if you want to as well. Or actually, whatever piece of chicken you want to use. I just have drumsticks in the house today, so that is what we are working with. Oh my God, and I wish you guys could smell this. It smells absolutely absolutely delicious so let me um, get the rest of these vegetables into the pot and then I'll come back and we'll get everything incorporated and add our thyme in okay so we have our chicken going I'm gonna add just a little bit more thyme to this and I'm using um, the fresh thyme sp sprigs but if you don't find fresh thyme you can definitely use the um, ground thyme in your spice uh, and seasoning section as well It's pretty simple to just pull off. Just hold the top of the stem and just have your fingers work your way down to get all of the, the leaves off. I think this is about all I'm going to use right here. And that's just the timer on my rice. It has like a little bit less than a minute to go for the rice. I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic, not that much. I think, honestly, all the spices we've used already is more than enough for this. And just a little bit of black pepper. And what I have here is just um, some chicken um, bouillon that I just had soaking in some water to soften up. So we're going to add that in as well. And actually, you know what, I'm just going to add it. Some of it didn't break down yet, but it's going to dissolve as this continues to cook. And because I'm adding the bouillon, turn that off and turn our rice off. Because I'm adding the bouillon, I'm not going to add any salt yet until the end when I go back and check it because the bouillon is already salty enough. Okay, so this is looking really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my lid on and let it cook down for about 10 minutes just to start getting some of the juices going in here and then when we come back we're going to add in the rest of our vegetables. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. Oh, that smells really good. That smells so good. Okay, so we're going to give this a stir. As you can see, it's starting to make its own gravy at the bottom. Need a bigger spoon to stir this up. Let me turn this down just a little bit. Okay, so in this bowl, I already have cut up um, about five small white tomato, white potatoes, I'm sorry, and about two carrots. I cut them up earlier, that's why they're starting to change color. all mixed up in here and then I also have some crushed tomatoes One second, let me change spoons. Okay. 
so I have a more sturdy spoon so I can actually get down here in this pot. So we're going to cook this for another 35 to 45 minutes. And basically you just want to cook it until your potatoes are tender and all of your chicken is done. I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. All right, so I'm going to cover this up and let it cook for about 35 to 45 minutes. I'm going to check on it maybe every 10 to 15 minutes or so and make sure it's cooking good. And um, while this is cooking, I'm going to get started on my cabbage and I'm going to frost our cake. I'm not going to frost the cake on the camera because it's just a, a um, standard uh, package frosting. So <laughs> I'm sure you guys don't want to see all that, but I am going to show you in just a minute how to uh, fry your cabbage. All right, everybody, so let's get started on our cabbage. So in my pan, I have um, some vegetable oil and just a little bit of butter. And I'm going to add about a quarter of a onion. And this is the way that I grew up eating cabbage, this is the way my mom made it uh, for me growing up and how I make it for my kids. And um, it's just a favorite. <laughs> we don't have it all of the time, but whenever my mom makes it, it's definitely uh, something that everybody looks forward to. So I still think that she makes hers <laughs> a lot better than mine, but that's just how everybody likes mama's cooking better than their own. <laughs> so. Okay, so I have my uh, onions in here sauteing and I have a small head of cabbage that I've already washed and chopped up. So I'm just going to get this added in. And don't tell anybody, but I actually prefer cabbage over greens any day. It's cooked just like this. Get this in. And you're just going to add just a few simple ingredients to this. Get the rest of that in, and then we'll start working on our spices. Okay, so. I have some onion powder. And of course my favorite, some roasted garlic powder. And as I always say, add as much or as little as you want. I'm going to add some crushed black pepper. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. I'm not going to add too much, but the salt is actually going to help wilt down the cabbage and um, start to release some of the water in it as well. But I'm not going to add a lot because my liquid um, throughout the cooking process is going to be um, some chicken broth. And we're going to finish it up with just a little bit of bacon as well. So I don't want to add too much sodium to start with since we're going to add a little bit more to it along the way. And this is totally up to you. 
Um, you don't have to add this. I just like a little bit of kick to my um, cabbage, so I'm just going to add some crushed red pepper flakes, but not a lot. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook down just a little bit more, and then I'm going to add in the broth and the bacon. All right, so our cabbage is looking good. We're going to add in some chopped up bacon. This is about maybe two pieces of bacon. Went ahead and just chopped it up. Get that mixed in good. And everyone in the house keeps asking, how much longer is dinner? <laughs> when are you gonna be finished? I'm telling you, it smells all upstairs. You can smell the food, you can smell the cabbage, you can smell the cake. You can definitely smell this curry chicken. So I have a little bit of chicken broth. I'm gonna add this in. That should be more than enough. And we'll let that cook down just a little bit longer. I'm gonna turn the heat up some. Let that cook down just a little bit longer. I don't like my cabbage um, mushy the way my mom makes it. It still has a little bit of a bite to it. It's not soggy, um, but it's you know it's tender. It's definitely um, tender, but not not too hard, and definitely not mushy. All right, that is looking good. So we're gonna let that cook a little bit longer, and then let's come over here and check on our curry chicken. We have about another, maybe about 30 minutes left on this. Oh my God. That looks and smells amazing. Y'all excuse any noises in the background. We live in an apartment, so you know there's always going to be noises to the left and the right and upstairs and everything, so that's just life. <laughs> but yeah, this is looking really good. So we have about maybe another um, 25 minutes left on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let everything finish cooking and I'm going to get our cake frosted up and once everything is done in about 25 30 minutes it's time to eat and i will uh come back and show you everything right, plated everybody that wraps up our sunday dinner we have our jamaican style curry chicken with some potatoes and carrots our fried cabbage with a little bit of bacon i have a side of rice along with some strawberry lemonade and that nice delicious yellow cake with some chocolate frosting and here is our final plate i'm so ready to eat guys <laughs> and everybody in the house is ready to eat so that is it for tonight if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends comment in the comment section below even if it's just to say hello and as always, for more videos in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And have a wonderful Sunday. I'll see you guys next time.